Hello, hello, hello. Here I am again with another video for On the Bench with Beaks podcast and their YouTube channel. And uh, in one of the latest episodes, um, they had a guest. Uh, the guy was out, the gentleman was out from uh, Canada, in Canada. Worked for Hall of Fame, I believe his name was Ted. Um, and uh, he briefly touched about his passion collecting the hockey cards and stuff like that so I'm the same way you know I'm collector in heart um, I used to collect heavily um, the hockey cards and uh, now it's put on a pause uh, for a little bit but I'm trying to I'm trying to get back in and, and, and finish out my collection which probably never gonna be finished uh, because there are just so many of them out there, but uh, I'm a big uh, Alex Tienge fan, you know, that is one player I followed, you know, from the days when uh, when he joined the Avalanche uh, team and um, he just kind of grew on me. Um, I liked the guy, how he played. Um, he was a great player um, and unfortunately um, or actually, fortunately, I was able to uh, see him play here uh, in the United States. Uh, but I started following him when I was still back in Latvia. And um, I get a great chance actually to meet him and, 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 and talk to him briefly for a couple minutes. So I just remember the day uh, there was a, it was a chopper's dinner where fans could meet avalanche players and stuff. And uh, my wife, uh, she worked for Avs, and uh, we were able to go there, and I was actually able to meet him and, uh, and to see him in person. Uh, I was just so nervous, you know, that I couldn't even talk to him. You know, it was kind of awkward <laughs> for me. And uh, but yeah, he was a great guy. Uh, you know, totally love him. And um, yeah, and and I got I got pretty much obsessed with him. Um, trying to collect all his hockey cards and um, I have a book full of his cards you know there are still a lot of them are missing and, 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 and a lot of signed uh, hockey cards a lot of cards with jerseys and patches and, 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 and all kinds of stuff and then I, I, I totally love it uh, but what I wanted to talk about is and, and, and show you guys uh, some of my favorite uh, some of my favorite ones what I got here and I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see it or not but here's a cool card and it comes from um, uh, those collectors out there they will know exactly what I'm talking about and um, uh, the card was made by Upper Deck uh, and the series were called the cup and it's from 05 06 season I believe um, if I'm not mistaken uh, so yeah and those are high-end cards I mean uh, Crosby and Ovechkin came out that year uh, as a rookies and, and and their cards went for hundreds and hundreds of dollars and um, and yeah uh, it was very expensive to buy them you know and I got this card off of eBay uh, I was lucky enough uh, to score this card um, only 50 made only 50 cards ever made it has a cool avalanche logo on it uh, right here you can see it. and this is a card of 32 out of 50 it's an Alex Dienge and then and, and his signature is here so I really like this card because it's kind of hard to get you know from like from the logo and sometimes there's just a fabric you know one 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 color maroon or whatever it is but this actually has the top of it right here where, where the A goes up here and it's a game worn jersey so um, this is one of my favorite ones so 30 the uh, 32nd one out of 50 so uh, a very cool card and then I also got what a perfect combination here and it, it's also um, this card is uh, SPX and uh, it's called Winning Combos and there are only 10 cards out in this in this world so this is a card uh, very first one out of 10 uh, and it features um, Alex Dengue on the bottom left or right 
actually, and the top of the left is one of my all-time favorite players, Jerome Ginla. So Ginla signed it right here, and Alex signed it over there. So yeah, one out of ten. So extremely rare card, um, and I'm happy that I got it in my my possession. And uh, so another card. And it's also when Alex played for Calgary Flames, and from the same same card SPX uh, winning combos. And this is card three out of ten, also uh, super limited. And look who is up here, good old Lenny McDonald. <laughs> you know what a great combo, Alex and uh, Lenny and McDonald. So Lenny signed it down here, Alex signed it up here. So very cool stuff, uh, third card out of 10. Very proud to have it in my possession, in my collection. Uh, so I can only imagine, you know, uh, when they received these little sticker things, you know, from, from Upper Deck or SPX. Uh, and that they actually took their time, they sat down, you know, and, and probably signed hundreds and hundreds of those stickers. Uh, so it's 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 cool to know that you know that's what the collecting is all about. So the players actually touched it, touched the sticker, not the actual card, but the sticker, and uh, made it available for fans. But here is something very unique. Uh, what I got in my possession, and I can probably say that I'm the only one in this world who has this collection right here and uh, while the card itself there's nothing special about it but it is an upper deck series card uh, the, uh, the line was called black diamond and it was kind of like uh, a little higher end I'd say I mean these cards they don't go for much uh, they, they really don't have much of a value but this particular set does, and then I'll explain you why. So, this is card, they are, all cards get numbered, you know, and this is a card from the from the deck uh, 130, and um, so what they did is, this is the base card, this is the base card, I mean, they, they're all gonna look the same, so this is not numbered, not limited, there's probably thousands and thousands of cards out like that, but this is the base card, okay? So the next card, the next card, what I get, it's the same one, but if you can see, there's like the red, red color down here. And so this card was only made and run, so this is a card uh, 13 out of 100. So 100 cards, the same one as the base card, uh, the only difference is that the bottom of this one is red, so so I have this one. So there's only 100 cards out in this world, just like that. So and it gets better. Um, the next card was called Emerald. It's the same one, black diamond card, but here it's green, emerald color. Okay, but this card there are only 25 of them made so this is 15 out of 25 so so there you go so this is the third card then it gets even better so the next card is this one and it's gold there's a gold color down here and the gold stripe same everything looks the same card is still 130 but only 10 cards were made just looking just like this and this is the fifth one out of 10 so how cool is that so i got all these cards so now here's the holy grail this card it kind of looks very similar to the base card you know there is a slight difference i don't know if the light is kind of messed up but there they are, this the base card is more kind of silver and this one is called Onyx and uh, guess what 
This is the this is the only card in the world, one of one. Look at that. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not. So this is the only one card was made with this one of one. I was able to get it for I can't remember for a couple hundred bucks, which seems ridiculous. But um, as a collector, you know, uh, you put the money value on your cards. And uh, yeah, I got one of one. So this is the full set, all these five cards. So I got the base card. I got a card uh, numbered out of 100 out of 25 out of 10 and the only one in the world and how cool is to know that nobody else in this world has the whole set of black diamond 0506 and I got all all five of them laying down here and I can't even put the money value on it as a collector you know, uh, my, 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 my ultimate goal is uh, eventually to get them graded and framed and hung on my wall. And then, and, uh, yeah, so this is what the hockey card collection and then collecting hockey cards is all about. So uh, I would like to see Ted's collection and maybe he has a specific uh, a player what he collects or he collects just in general hockey cards a lot of times collectors pick a, a theme and then they roll with it because it's it's practically impossible to collect all of them I have a good great great collection of the goalie cards but that's another topic and, um, but Alex is my, my my number one number uno and uh, so yeah my, my, my goal is to collect all the cards ever made for Alex you know and that's like a lifelong <laughs> journey and eventually uh, the money was tight and I, I had also another one one of one with a swatch in it with the jersey like that and uh, money was tight at the time you know and I sold it to a collector out in Canada for um, uh, if I'm not mistaken for like six hundred dollars but that's years back and now I kind of regret it you know uh, that I did but I, I those were the cup cards and um, at the time, you know, I did not have a lot of funds, and actually, that card was a, a buddy of mine in Latvia, great, great collector, card collector. He bought it for me, and I'm eventually paid him back and and stuff. Uh, he was able to bid on eBay and, and get it for me at the time, but um, I just didn't see myself getting all them cards, and I like my collections like completed, and and that that was the one of the main reasons, you know. Uh, was running short of, of, of money at the time I needed the money you know and I, I, I acknowledged that I will never get the full set uh, of that particular uh, run uh, so yeah I sold it anyways so yeah uh, hope you guys liked the video would like to hear um, and see more videos about the hockey cards about any kind of collections and and, and and yeah, send it over to On The Bench's Beaks with Cody. He'll post them up on YouTube. Um, hopefully, guys, you'll like this short video about my, my Alex card obsession. Uh, take care, and until next, bye-bye, I'm out.